Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today, I am going to discuss to you the ways on how to round decimal numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, paano nga bang mag-round up ng decimal numbers? So, bago tayo tumungo sa topic na to, i-review muna natin kung paano mag-round off ng whole number. Kasi mamaya ikukumpara natin kung ano yung difference ng pag-round off ng whole numbers kay decimal numbers. So, let's say this example. 3,532. So, let's say you are asked to round this number into nearest hundreds. So, yung first procedure, kung natatandaan nyo, na pinag-aralan nyo nung kayo ay nasa grade 4, yung first procedure sa pag-round off ng whole number ay you're going to look for the digit to be round off. O ano ba yung digit under in hundreds place? So, eto yun, di ba? Pi. Then, afterwards, you will look for the digit to its right. Ano ba yung digit sa kanan ni, ni, ng 5? Di ba? 3. So, ano yung rule? Kapag 3, yung nasa kanan ng digit na ira-round off. So, kapag 3, ibig sabihin, magra-round down tayo or i-retain -re natin yung digit na ira-round off. Then, the answer is 3,000. So, i-retain nga, retain natin digit. And then, the succeeding digits becomes 0. So, 3,500. O, paano naman kung i-round mo yung the same given pa rin into nearest thousands. So, ano ba yung digit under in thousands place? So, eto yon 3. O, ano yung digit sa kanan ni 3? Di ba? 5. So, that means since na 5, di ba rule natin kapag 5 pataas, round up tayo. Kapag 4 pababa, round down. So, that means since na 5 pataas, we're going to add 1 to the digit to be round off. So, yung 3 magiging 4, and then the succeeding digits becomes 0. Okay, now, paano naman itong decimal number? So, ito na yung topic natin talaga ngayon, ano? So, let's say this example. thousands. So, let's say Ira-round up natin siya muna into nearest tens, then afterwards sa nearest hundreds, and then thousands. Alright. So, since na una natin siyang ira-round up muna kay tens, so, that means, ano first procedure sa whole number? We're going to look for the digit to be round up. Ganon din kay decimal number. So, ano ba yung digit under in tens place? O kung natatandaan nyo sa topic natin na place value of decimal numbers, yung digit to the right of the decimal number, ang place value niya ay 10. So, that means ito yung ira-round up natin. So, 3. Then, afterwards, yung pangalawang procedure, titignan natin yung digit sa kanan. So, katulad dun sa whole numbers, di ba? O, yung digit sa kanan ay 4. So, that means... Ang gagawin nating procedure ay magra-round down tayo kasi 4 yung digit sa kanan. Then, the answer is 3 tenths. O baka ang isipin nyo ay, ma'am, bakit hindi natin gagawing o gawing 0 yung mga kasunod na digits? So, yun yung pagkakaiba ni decimal numbers at whole numbers kapag ni-round off. So, sa decimal numbers, There is no need for you, no, to replace the succeeding digits with zero. So, eto lang yung sagot niya, three tenths. Okay, now, paano naman kung sa nearest hundreds natin siya ira-round off? So, same procedure, hanapin mo yung digit na ira-round off. So, eto yun, four. And then, yung digit to the right of four is two. So, that means, Round down pa rin tayo, no? Then, the answer is 34 hundreds. Now, kapag nearest thousands naman, ano yung digit under in thousands place? 2. What is the digit to the right of 2 or 1? So, round down pa rin. So, 
thousand. So another given. Two and five thousand eight hundred seventy-three ten thousands. So let's round this number into nearest tens. Ah, pag nearest tens, ah, eto yung digit na iraround up natin, di ba? And then the digit to the right of five is eight. So that means round down. Kung mapapansin yon dito sa ating ones place, meron tayong digit na two. So irerewrite mo lang yun. Okay, and then, eto i-round up na natin siya. 2 and, so, since the round up, si 5 magiging 6. Then, the answer is 2 and 6 tenths. Uh, paano naman kung i-round up mo siya into nearest hundred? So, eto yung digit na i-round up. 8. And then, the digit to the right of 8 is 7. So, that means, mag-round up tayo. We're going to add 1, 2, 3. 8. Then, the answer is 2 and 59 hundreds. Okay. Next, nearest thousands. O, ano yung digit na i-round off natin? 7 yun. Kasi tens, hundreds, thousands. 7. And then, what is the digit to the right of 7? So, 3. So, that means round down. Then, the answer is 2 and 587 thousands so that's all for now thank you for watching